This is a glass milk jug. There are six of these sitting outside our front door, almost in an homage to bygone days, simpler times. Someone used to deliver milk to your house in a glass jar. Yesterday I walked by these glass jugs on our front stoop for the thousandth time and something occurred to me. You know when you, when you see something almost for the first time again? Something just blends into the background of your home and then for no apparent reason you see it. The smoke jug got me thinking. Thinking about how much slower life used to be, how much more simple life was. How often I used to just sit and stare at the ceiling as a kid. And I don't stare at the ceiling much anymore. This is a Canon 5D classic. It's not as old as a milk jug, but in the world of digital cameras, it might as well be. This was the best in its class, but its class was 19 years ago. Today, it's a slow, kind of clunky relic of camera technology. Today, it feels quaint, simple, kind of like getting milk delivered to your door. Today, it's also the camera that I choose to lug around with me as my everyday carry. It's not as old or as vintage as, say, a film camera, but for me, and maybe for you, it achieves a similar process. Every morning, I take my dog for a walk, and I've started bringing this camera with me. We have two routes. That means that I am photographing the same thing over and over and over. So as we amble along, things that stick out to me, I take a photo. Not a lot changes in this neighborhood. In fact, it's one of the few neighborhoods where I would actually imagine they still would deliver milk. So I'm mostly photographing the same things over and over, and it's nice. It's slow. It lacks any kind of expectation. And it feels like I'm clawing back a little bit of that stillness from my childhood that I wish I had more of. I also take it with me to our local cafe. And where are we going? Whoopsie Daisy. Yeah, what's Whoopsie Daisy? A cafe Ooh. in downtown Kitchener. I love cafes. I take photos of coffee drinks and pastries and chairs and people that I see there over and over again because it's a local cafe, so it's a lot of the same people again and again. And as I photograph there over and over, I'm reminded how important it is to have a spot that you can go every day that feels a little bit like home, but isn't home. I bring it with me to family functions, visits with friends, drives out to the country, I bring it with me on trips to the grocery store and pretty much everywhere else. Like I said, everyday carry. I take photos more slowly with this camera, not as slowly as I do with a film camera, but still more slowly than usual. In case you're wondering, it does seem to perform nicely with the 40 millimeter f2.8 pancake lens. It seems to perform well with the 50 millimeter standard f1.8 lens that everybody owns. I've heard it performs well with quite a few other lenses too. The battery life is fine. It's not as good as the 5D Mark II, but it's still pretty good. The raw files are nice enough to work with and in good light, it's actually quite sharp and feels quite modern sometimes. This sensor likes light, keep that in mind. Skin tones are pretty and I actually particularly like what it does with the blues as well. But if you're really interested in how this camera performs from a technical perspective, you're either watching the wrong review or maybe you're asking the wrong question. Like the video suggests, I think this camera is more of an investment in a different kind of approach to your photography than you may have with a more modern camera. And since I spend so much time with a camera, photographing things, pumping out content for reels, for YouTube, for influencers, for stuff that just gets you know picked up and put down so quickly, it feels like a bit of an antidote to that constant rushed feeling that you get when you're photographing things like weddings and events and all that stuff that just goes by so quickly. I make content for a living. I make content for people and for myself and just so much content. But with this camera, I just don't feel any expectations. I don't worry about any of that. I just pick it up and I take some photos and I'm not really too worried if they turn out. This is not the camera I'm gonna reach for if I have to get the shot. Instead, it's a camera I'll reach for when I wanna take some shots. I enjoy it for what it is, and I set it down until next time. And that's the joy of the Canon 5D Classic. A milk joke of a camera.